Today I'm going to show you how you can set up a knowledge base for your AI application using a vector database. Involving a knowledge base is a great way to incorporate information that isn't part of your model's training data into your AI app. For this demo, I'm going to be using OpenAI to not only generate a result, but also create embeddings, and we're going to be using Pinecone as our vector database to store our knowledge base. This infographic from Pinecone shows what, what the flow of the application is going to be. You can think of this flow as divided into two parts with each part represented by each side of the embedding API section. So the left side uh, is where we create the embeddings for our documents and uploading them to Pinecone. So we're getting our data from the data warehouse, we turn it into an embedding with our embedding API, and then we upload those embeddings to our Pinecone database. And then on the right side, we have querying. So we create the embedding from our prompt, we query Pinecone with the prompt, and then we add the result of that query to the prompt, and then we generate the result from the context that we provide and the prompt. So that's what we're going to build today. All you need to get started is an API key from OpenAI, an API key from Pinecone, some basic knowledge of Langchain, and if you don't have basic knowledge of Langchain, I have a video for that. And I also encourage you to use your own documents. I'm going to be using some text documents in order to demonstrate, but you can really load any kind of file. Next, I'm going to show you how to set up a Pinecone index so that we can get started. All right, so when you create your Pinecone account, you should get something like this. You should see that we have a section called indexes. This is where we're going to create our knowledge base. So we're going to click on create index. And we're just going to give this a name. Um, this data, this vector database is going to have information about child development, the latest research on that. So that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, child development research. Okay. And then whatever configuration you have here is all dependent on the embedding that you're going to use. So I'm going to use an embedding from OpenAI called text embedding three small set configuration. Okay, uh, and then, yeah, this is fine, this is fine. I'm gonna use US East one, and now we're gonna create our index, and we should have an index ready to go. All right, so now let's go actually upload some documents. So join me in the next part. This is the file structure that I'm gonna have for this specific project. I'm gonna have two Python files, one that will create the index, at upload our records, and then I'm also going to have query index, which is what we're going to call when we want to send off, when we want to create a prompt, query our database, and then send our query off to OpenAI. And then I also have some docs in here, and these are all just text documents taken from the latest research in child development. So like I have new brain scan tool reveals key insights into childhood brain development. Fun stuff. And then I also have a .end file, and this is where you're gonna put your API keys. You're going to format your API keys like this. Before we start, I'm gonna set up our virtual environment and install our dependencies. So for Python, that's gonna go like this. Python 3-m v-e-n-v e-n-v. And so it's creating our virtual environment, and then we're gonna activate it. Uh, e-n-v bin activate just like that source and slash bin slash activate okay all right so now let's install our dependencies so we're going to use pip pip install lang chain pip install lang chain underscore open ai pip install lang chain underscore community pip install lang chain pinecone and lastly pip install python dash dot env oh i misspelled it python dot env 